Hi, this is Krishna Teja from Packet Code. Today we're gonna implement Google Plus login. The internet giant Google is a revolutionary company. It's the standing pillar for the whole of the web industry. Google has its own social networking product, Google Plus. It's a competent alternative for Facebook login. May not be everyone uses Google Plus as such, but at least almost all have a Gmail ID and therefore it opens a big window for the huge user base. Okay, let's get into the implementation of the Google login. First, download the G plus PHP quick start package from this link. Outpaste this link in the video description. Unzip the files into the local server. And I have put these files in a folder by name G plus lib inside my folder Google login. Then we need to use Composer to download the dependencies. Make sure Composer is installed in your computer. If not, check the web and get it installed. Then point the terminal to the folder where the lib files are there. Use Composer to download the dependencies. We can use the following command in Mac OS. Once we do it, a folder by name vendor would be created in the lib folder with all the dependent files. This would ensure that files are up to date. In case, if you're unable to access Composer, don't worry. I'll put all these files in a zip and I'll try to give you the link in the video description. Now move one level back from the lib folder, come to the root folder that's Google login. Here create a file index.php. Before we f uh, code, uh, we need to do one more thing. We need to create a project in the Google console. So let's get into the URL console.developers.google.com. Uh, here you would be s you here you need to create a project. So search for the project. Yeah. Click it. A pop-up would be prompted. In the project name field, type in the name of your project. Click the create button and wait for the project to be created. Click on the new project name in the list to start editing the project. In the left sidebar, select the APIs item below API and auth. A list of web services appear. Find the Google Plus API service and enable it. In the sidebar under API and auth, select the credentials and then consent uh, consent screen. Choose an email ID and specify a product name. And the rest all are not, not really important, they're optional. Then come back to the add credentials. Click on create new auth 2.0 client ID. A dialog box appears. In the application type, section of the dialog box select web application in the authorized javascript origins field enter the origin of your app that's basically the website domain root in the authorized redirect URI mention the written URL where the Google has to return the access click the create client ID button once the project is created we can see the client ID and secret these two we shall use in our app now let's get back to the code part. The whole code can be broadly divided into three phases. One, defining. Two, initialization. Three, the actual process. Okay, let's begin the code. First phase is the defining part. Here we shall load the auto load file. Then we create few constants client ID, client secret, and the redirect URL. Then we start the session.
Second phase, initialization. Here we create a Google client object. Then we set the client ID, secret and the redirect URI in the client object. At last, we set the scope for the email. Next, we create another object, that's Google Plus object. In the third phase, the actual process. Here, we analyze the request, if it's a direct access or a return from the Google server, or maybe a logout. So as a first step, let's check if the request is a logout. If it is yes, then we'll unset the session, which had a access token. Otherwise, we move to the step two. Here, we shall check if the URL is or written from the Google server. If the URL has a, a variable code, then it's a written from the Google server. In this case, we will use the client object uh, method authenticate and the code as the method parameter. Next, we get the access code from the client object by using the method get access token. And then we store this code in the session variable access token for the further use. At this point of time, if we refresh the page, it would return an error. And the URL has the access code. This cannot be reused. Actually, we have stored this code already in our session. So we don't need it. So just to get rid of all the URL variable, variables, uh, we shall redirect the page to the root URL or maybe the same page URL. Then, the last step is step 3. Check if the session has a session token. If yes, then retrieve the data from the Google Plus object which we have created in the beginning. Else, just get the login URL and store it in a variable auth URL. From the plus object, get the ID, name, email, profile URL, profile image, and the cover image. That's it. Now we have the data. Let's write some dev elements and some embed php code all right this code is perfectly working and i have deployed it on my server and here is the demo box fine this code is available for download in github and box.com server the links are listed in the video description if you like the video give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel.